The Democratic Republic of Congo is located in Central Africa. With a population of more than 66 million, the country is the 18th most populous nation in the world. Cassava is the food crop consumed by more than 70% of the population. It is the major source of carbohydrates. The country has become the second largest cassava producing country in Africa, right after Nigeria. It used to be the first producer of this crop. Cassava is also one of the most important food energy sources in Africa, serving as a staple food reserve and source of income. In early 1990, cassava production started to decline in this country, causing food shortage and serious increases in hunger and malnutrition in many parts of DRC. Among the basic causes of this reduction was the cassava mosaic disease, which turned out to be the largest and most harmful cause of crop losses, ranging between 5% and 95%. 70% uh, of Congolese depend on cassava, but the good uh, things for cassava, can you see now, are on marginal soils. In this type of soils, you cannot get even maize to grow here. But cassava can grow because it can stand marginal source. Cassava is a staple food for Congolese who consume its roots and leaves. The roots are rich in carbohydrates and the leaves are a good source of protein. Since 2001, USAID has funded the International Institute of Tropical Agriculture, known as IITA, and Southeast Consortium for International Development to implement a cassava project entitled Emergency Response to the Outbreak of the Cassava Mosaic Disease in the DRC. The project aims to address and sustainably resolve the threat to food security caused by the outbreak of the cassava mosaic disease in this country. The project is implemented in Bakongo, Eastern and Western Kasai, Northern Katanga, and part of the Bandundu province. Since I work in DRC for the, uh, since 2001, on the cassava project, we have released uh, around, we have released 11 varieties, 11 improved varieties. Among them, five are in this field of uh, uh, farmers food here. Uh, so uh, we have introduced processing machines, we have introduced uh, new products, we have introduced high quality cassava flour that can be used for uh, bread. We have also uh, introduced good cassava leaves that can be processed in good, veg for good vegetables for people to eat. We are in Mbanzangungu in Bakongo province, one of the areas where project activities are implemented to provide rural communities the means to address and sustainably resolve productivity losses caused by the cassava mosaic disease virus. Over the past nine years, the project has released 11 improved cassava varieties that cover over 300,000 hectares throughout the country. After funding two phases of the project, Emergency Response to the Outbreak of the Cassava Mosaic Disease in the DRC, USAID launched a new phase of cassava sector development. This phase will run from 2009 to 2014. It is a $4 million project that focuses on increasing the adoption rate of the new cassava mosaic disease resistant varieties, improving technology, and increasing actual production. IITA is the implementing partner of this phase. USAID has had a long history of supporting cassava productivity in the DRC. The new five-year project contributes to other outcomes as well, including value-added processing, developing cassava-based products with industrial applications, popularizing cassava recipes, and supporting grades and standards for cassava projects. Thank you, USAID, because uh, with USAID financial assistance, ITA, INERA, and the other stakeholders, 
are able now to implement these activities. The U.S. said contribution, financial contribution, is a paramount to all these achievements.